for the taste of Jerry Jones and for the taste of yours truly. There's been a few too many sad days uh, here in this Dallas Cowboys offseason and uh, now another loss of a Cowboy figure. Uh, iconic at the college football level and beloved uh, in this building, Larry Lacewell has passed away at the age of 85 at his home in Jonesboro, Arkansas, survived by his wife, Chris, who confirms the passing of a, a college icon uh, at Arkansas State, uh, where he was a star player and then became the coach, then became the AD. He built that program into something. Uh, he then, as part of his career, as it uh, weaved towards three Super Bowls as a part of the Dallas Cowboys, uh, began a coaching career in 1959 mentored by none other than Bear Bryant, the two of them both from Fordyce, Arkansas. Uh, there is to this day, when you go to Bear Bryant Stadium in Tuscaloosa, a road that leads you to the stadium, and it's called Larry Lacewell Lane. Uh, that's how important a college football figure he is in Alabama, in Arkansas, of course, where he's in an assortment of Hall of Fames. And then if you got to know him in Dallas, where he would joke to me about his Forrest Gump-like existence in football, that everywhere he turned, he bumped into a celebrity person or a celebrity event. Bear Bryant, Johnny Majors, Barry Switzer became a close friend. And of course, he was Switzer's defensive coordinator for two Oklahoma Sooner championships. Jimmy Johnson, uh, they've been on the same staffs, staffs for many, many years, became close friends. And then Jerry Jones, uh, in that mix as well. And ultimately, Jimmy and Jerry brought Lacewell here in the early 90s. He was part of the scouting staff for a couple of years. Jimmy left. He became the director of scouting here. And uh, ups and downs, which is part of scouting, but always Lace, as we called him, always up. Uh, Self-effacing, made fun of the fact that his high school mascot, where he was a star, I believe they were called the Red Bugs, uh, made fun of the fact that he was a diminutive guy. He was not a big football guy. He was a little football guy. Uh, but big in terms of his heart, his generosity, uh, and his ability to poke fun at himself, which included, obviously, the ups and downs and the foibles of what he chose uh, as a profession. Uh, the great friend to so many, uh, one of those rare guys that has no enemies, Larry Lacewell, passing away at the age of 85 at Cowboys Headquarters Fish, out.